Hi everyone, this is Good Friday, sun shining, beautiful day and I feel I want to do another video, so here goes. Um, I might have done this a few years ago, I don't know, but um, what we're looking at is this lamp. It's Japanese. I picked it up at an auction many years ago at Guildford. It was one of these open air auctions. The crowd of us sort of go via rows of stuff in boxes. And um, you obviously make your bid. Oh, we've got Mia. Who's obviously going to jump down. Um, anyhow, um, there was a box that had a f some interesting bits in it and uh, I missed it. The um, uh, Someone else outbidded me and got it. So I, I looked at the box I said, oh, that's interesting. So he said, oh, are you interested in that, in that lamp? I said, yeah. What do you want for it? So... Um, I gave him something for it and I got the lamp. It was rather interesting because it is it is Japanese and it shows some interesting features about it. And of course the reason I brought this into service again is that I picked up a lava lamp from eBay, um, an American one. Um, it was sent to me but unfortunately the lamp inside had blown. So I thought, oh right, I've got to order some lamps, which I did, and I got them. Um, and I thought, ah, I remember this one didn't have the proper bulb in it. But with these lava lamps, bulbs, they were the same one. So I was able to renew the lamp in the lava lamp and put a replacement bulb into this uh, lamp and time it, it, it's, it, it's a clock as well so let's have a look that was a lamp I took out well that came out of the lava lamp it's completely blown uh, it's 120 volts at 25 watt with the unusual base I, th I think it's the intermediate they call it if I've said it wrong then someone will correct me um, it's a size you don't often see in England but it's fairly common in America, Japan and other places. But anyhow, I got these sets of bulbs, ten of them. They were Chinese made but they're not too bad. I set the lava lamp up and that was working perfectly so I thought yeah we'll put the other bulb in here so let's show you what it's like well, I can turn her on as you can see there's um, got three buttons let's bring this over here so I can sit, sit it on my lap there's the around there's three buttons you've got your off button low and high and it's all in English, so you know you'd expected that to have been in uh, Japanese. They've got a little trademark thing in the middle. On the side, also in English. Well, I suppose the reason being English is it's like an international language. Um, you've got your alarm, your alarm setting, so you can set whatever time you want. And the alarm is either on or off at the moment it's off there's the you now the front is not too clear because this is quite old and the plastic uh, little window plastic window is is, bit, is a bit cloudy now but you can see it and that's the main thing and interesting which I didn't remember at night when I woke up I thought oh let me check the time and uh, yeah the time works perfectly and that time is lit up by a neon lamp 
it's just changing now going over to six and that, that does light up it's very dim but you can see it so it's obviously a, a neon lamp behind it I can't remember what it's like inside I have had it apart the main reason was to try and cut down the noise it was making it it was make a grinding noise which you can probably hear that has greatly reduced and I, I can put up with that let me turn the light off um, I'll show you the base there was a name on there it's obviously got obliterated I don't know how let's have a now where was it Hmm. I thought there was um oh there it is <laughs> going to say I'm going mad here um, the interesting part about this in Japan their voltage is a hundred volts so I believe with this one I've put a little resistor inside I'm not a hundred percent sure it's obviously not overheating on 120 volts because this is being fed through an American transformer so it's 120 volts as opposed to 100 it seems to work in okay but the interesting thing is frequency now most countries use 50 cycles some countries like America obviously Canada and that U60 which was recommended uh, at the time um, it's more efficient actually um, but anyhow this in Japan they have either depending what part you live in and it's done by a little changeover switch See on the side there you've got 50 hertz or 60. Now the reason for that is obviously this is a clock movement which relies on the mains frequency to drive it round also it controls the speed so obviously the time remains the same depending on whether you're on 50 or 60 well in England we're on 50 so that is why that has been switched to there and all it does inside the housing you've got a little cog and it just changes so obviously the cog's got so many teeth on one frequency and a different number of teeth on the other frequency that's how I think they do it and uh, you know either frequencies are catered for obviously if you put it on 60 here it would run slow and vice versa had it, been, had it been the other way around it would have gone faster so that's the uh, little lamp the reason I say I hadn't used it for a long long time was it was very noisy but it's been on, it's been used for um, oh about a week no about a week yeah about a week or so and um, it has quietened down so it's quite good so uh, any, any questions please ask I may have put this up a long uh, a long time ago I can't remember and on on this table apart from the odd uh, dust sorry about that it's antique dust once again. Um, is a telephone um, the press button type which is on tone I also do phones as well and a little bedside torch there which I think is actually a cycle torch but anyhow that's we got to have any questions please ask and um, yeah I'll try and get back I'm trying to think the name of that phone now as you can see it came from 
a wine telephone sold by a wine telephone you got the other sticker there saying about the rules and that where it's from uh, it's a st starlight starlight phone they call these uh, made by automatic electric and the model is called a starlight the original ones of these had a dial this has got obviously the press buttons which are on uh, uh, the frequency dialing so they, they actually give a frequency out they don't give a if the originally the press button phones would just dial out the number so if it had six if you press the six button it would just give you six pulses as if you had dialed six on a dial but these ones are frequency so you press and it gives a tone out so you can use these on modern uh, systems you know if you're doing banking or something like that not that I do banking I've got no money um, but you know often you have to ring someone up and they say oh press this do that so that's what that was for so it's a starlight phone anyway going back originally they, they had a dial and the dial had a light within it it was uh, I don't quite know how it worked it used to glow and it was connected to the 120 volts via a very high resistor and it would just susceptibly see it glowing unfortunately I've been trying to get one that works and I can't so I put it down as a bad job and replaced it with this uh, touch tone version they call it a touch tone so that was that on there anyhow that's more or less it so thanks again for watching I know I like the sound of my own voice I've already been told that um, and uh, you know hopefully it'll be okay so any questions please ask I'll try and get back to you and answer them um, yeah that's a nice little Japanese uh, well, bedside lamp and clock I don't know the age of it it's obviously a few years old to even turn up at the auction and I haven't been to that auction for years so you know he had those years to it as well so it is quite old I'd probably think 70s 60s 70s but there we are there's the lamp so once again thanks for watching uh, and uh, as I say any questions I'll try and answer you know ask on, on the phone as well because I have been lacking a bit I should be doing more on phones and I do apologize for you people that want to see plants I did go down to the greenhouse the other day and I took some photos and I was so disgusted with the condition of some of the plants which was caused by this bad compost that I deleted the whole video so I might pop down later and do a few on the plants I'll have to select the nice looking ones I feel that things are gonna pick up after the winter but we'll have to wait and see anyhow thanks again for watching and uh, I'm gonna clear down thank you